Hello guys, welcome to the watch channel. My name is Oliver and today I got not one but two Laco boxes in front of me uh, and I'm going to show you the brand new limited edition Augsburg and Aachen in uh, Olive. Laco also have new boxes as you can see it's the same uh, format but uh, slightly different design uh, on them. Uh, I thought I'd uh, unbox just one of these and then I'll show you both watches in the end. Uh, so I'll unbox the Augsburg, put the Aachen to the side for a little bit. Uh, so again, the box is new. It's like this on all their models that come in these type of boxes. Uh, it used to be black uh, and uh, I think the box looks nicer. It's, it feels nicer, feels more exclusive. I think it looks better than the old ones. So let's open this one up. Here you can see well, it's upside down. And uh, the inner box is also new. Again, it's the same design, but just a different uh, color and different feel to the leather. It feels like more a uh, vintage leather. Uh, I think I prefer the look of this. I don't know if it looks better or if it's just I like uh, to see something new, but uh, pretty nice box. You have the Laco logo uh, down here. Uh, so let's open it up. And here's, okay. Here's the watch and all the things. Uh, this is a little booklet uh, that shows you some information about these watches. Uh, warranty card and an instruction manual. It's supposed to be up here, but loose for some reason. So here's the watch. I'll take out both watches and uh, let's take a closer look at them. So here is both of the watches. Uh, we can take a look at the Augsburg one first. Uh, we can do case, uh, case dimensions on this, uh, it's the same on both, it's just the 42mm case, 50mm uh, lug to lug, 20mm lug width, and 11.75mm height, and it weighs 90.2 grams, uh, according to Laco. I've not weighed it myself, but I choose to believe him. Uh, so this is the A dial, obviously, and you can see this beautiful olive dial, uh, olive green, it looks really beautiful, I really like the color. Uh, also on the strap matches it. The case is PVD coated in um, bronze and it has this kind of worn look which makes it look uh, like it has been worn which I really like. Uh, it gives it a vintage look. Uh, it's very very cool. And uh, on the back side you can see the movement. Uh, nothing super exciting. It is the Myota 821A uh, which means it does have hacking and it has hand winds. And we can see the hacking here, it stops, oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, just a push down uh, ground, no screw down. I love that I'm matching bronze on these rivets and also on the clasp, which is also signed by Laco. Uh, case back, it is individually numbered. Uh, if we can see here, number 19, take off the plastic for you. There's only made 250 on each of these. 500 in total, uh, sapphire crystal, obviously, and uh, water resistance to 5 ATM, 50 meters, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at the Aachen. So here is the Aachen with the B dial. Uh, I prefer the cleaner look of the A dial, but uh, a lot of people like this. Uh, it's also very cool. Uh, obviously, uh, the rest of the watch is the same, and. Um, this is number 18, I believe. Same strap, same clasp, everything is the same. Uh, just a dial that's different. The loom on this, by the way, is a Super Luminova Old Radium. So I'm going to show you the loom uh, very soon. Show you what it looks like. Uh, let's try this one on the wrist, see what it looks like on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist. Uh, it looks very big. I think that's due to the camera here making it look a lot bigger than it is. Uh, let me zoom out for one moment. So if I zoom out like this, you'll see a better representation of what it will look like. Uh, it's definitely on the larger side for me. Uh, I prefer the 39 millimeter, 39 millimeter versions of these, uh, but uh, this one only comes in 40 yet. Uh, it's, um, it's wearable, you know, pilot watches are supposed to be on the larger side but uh, it's uh, definitely a little bigger than I'm comfortable wearing. Uh, on Laco's sites they say that this watch is for uh, wrist sizes between 17 and half and 22 millimeters. Uh, so I am on the very low end on that and that's also something for you to think about. 
Uh, if you're gonna get this watch, I have a video on my channel where I compare the 42 millimeter Fliegers to the 39 ones. And I'll put that above so you can check that out if you are unsure about what size to get. Uh, but this one, as I said, only come in 42 uh, as of just yet. Uh, but uh, if they do the same as they did with the Tau versions, uh, a 39 millimeter might be coming next year. So give me one moment, I'm gonna show you the loom. So here is the loom. Uh, as you guys can see, it is very, very bright. Uh, I don't know about the old radium color. I don't see anything special with the color, but uh, it is very bright indeed. There's a lot of loom applied and uh, you can definitely see what the time is in the low lighting. And um, let's, I'm gonna run the video for a little bit so we can see how long it lasts. I'm gonna speed it up. So all in all, uh, I think these watches are really nice. I love uh, the PVD coating, which makes it looks uh, worn. Uh, that's also a genius thing. If, uh, if you actually wear it and the PVD coating starts peeling off, uh, it doesn't matter because it's already kind of peeled off. So it will make it look really good even when it wears off. Uh, I love the green color, the olive color. It looks amazing uh, with, uh, with the bronze uh, case and the details. The green strap is beautiful and it seems to be really high quality. It feels really nice. Uh, it's genuine leather, obviously handmade in Germany. So all in all, I think this watch is you know, really cool. Uh, it's a great alternative if you want a Flieger, but you want something a little more color than the normal black ones. And I think this is a really good choice. Uh, I personally would get one if it was in 39 millimeter. Uh, but these in 42 is a little big to me, so it's not a watch I'm going to buy. Uh, but I do think it's a, it's a very nice watch. I love the color on it, and uh, the price is not too bad. Uh, I can show you the price. It is 404 euros. Same price for both of them. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I found it informative. And um, please like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.